Welcome to the magic carpet on board Celebrity Edge. I'm currently 14 stories above sea level, recording this on a platform that is sticking off the side of a cruise ship. I've been following this ship's journey since before she was launched, and ever since the first time I saw her, I've had some big questions. The first, of course, being what on earth is this orange thing on the side of the cruise ship for? I learned that it was called the magic carpet, and my questions moved from what to why? Why would a cruise line add this to the side of the ship? I didn't know what it would be used for, and I wondered how on earth could a cruise ship stay afloat with this hanging on one side? The magic carpet weighs over 90 tons, and you'd think something that big and heavy would affect the balance of the ship. At least I assumed that it would. As soon as I saw the Celebrity Edge in Barcelona, I was amazed by the structure. The orange really stood out against the blue ship and the skies, and the rectangular shape looks so different from the curves of the rest of the ship. She certainly stood out against the other cruise ships that were in port. I boarded on deck 5 and headed straight up to the top deck to have a look around this strange platform. At this point, the magic carpet was on deck 15 besides the pool, but I knew that it could and that it did move regularly. I was imagining that it would be like those stairs in Harry Potter that move when you're on them, and that wasn't exactly the case, but it wasn't a million miles away. I did wonder if it might feel scary being that high up with nothing below me, but thankfully it didn't at all. It was so easy to walk into the area that I almost didn't realise that it was any different from the rest of the ship. It certainly didn't feel any less stable than the main part of the ship. My first impression was that it was so much bigger than it looked from land. I suppose that does make sense because it's roughly the size of a tennis court, it is 20 foot wide and 110 foot long. Celebrity says that up to 100 guests can fit on here at a time. I do think that would be tight but I suppose they've probably managed it before. I knew that I wanted to come back later in the day to have a drink and I was looking forward to finding out what else this carpet was used for. There isn't actually a carpet in here by the way, I suppose it's kind of like the flying carpet from Aladdin. I was on this cruise with my mum and she did keep calling it the flying carpet. Given how it moves though, I don't think that she was completely wrong. The deck can move all the way from deck 2 up to deck 16. Heading to my cabin on deck 7, I noticed that we had a brilliant view of the magic carpet that wasn't planned, we just got lucky. As it was being used as a bar at this time, I could see people in there drinking and from down here they looked absolutely tiny. As I found out more about this cruise, I learned that they did also use this area for dinner. It is a specialty restaurant and it's called Dinner on the Edge. It comes in at a cost of $129 per person and it's safe to say that I didn't eat here during the cruise because I do do my best to be a budget conscious cruiser, but even without doing that, there was plenty of time that we could spend here when it was in bar mode. I started to wonder why Celebrity had done this. There was no doubt that this was a unique feature, but the ship already has seven bars. It wasn't like they desperately needed another bar and they didn't have the space so they extended. Celebrity Edge is 308 meters long, she holds almost 3,000 people and she's 16 decks high so she's a fairly big ship. At the time of launch, Celebrity described the magic carpet as the world's first cantilevered floating platform. I'd seen the bar part but I hadn't yet seen it used for what I think is its best purpose as a tender boarding dock. We had a drink on the magic carpet and sat in the comfortable seating. I know noticed how some of the seats were fixed nearer the bar and how some of them could be moved away when needed to be, and that would come in handy later. On three sides of the bar are big glass walls so we had amazing views across the ocean. I never felt nervous being up here but I do understand why some people do. The glass is only up halfway on the far side so when we sat here in the evening we would often be able to feel a breeze, which was really nice as it was hot almost every day of the cruise. We did have one day of the cruise which was really windy and I did wander around the magic carpet on that day too. It was a great place to watch the sunset and it usually wasn't too busy. I think that because it was up and out the way from the other bars, people just forgot about it. I never did though. Lots of cruise ships do have glass walkways where you walk over a glass floor that's on top of the cruise ship so that you can look down. If this bar had something like that, I would have found that nerve-wracking, but as I couldn't see down, I really didn't think too much about it. I just enjoyed it as a bar. I was still wondering how it didn't fall over though. Sometimes on cruises, the cruise ship will not dock at the land and instead everybody has to use what are called tender boats to get to the town. The tender boats are sometimes the ship's lifeboats and they can also be boats from the places that you're visiting. Usually you'll have to go down into the crew areas of the ship to board the tenders and everyone will be lining up in the corridors. It very much feels like an afterthought and I've never really enjoyed boarding a tender before, it's just a thing that you have to do. That was all about to change on Celebrity Edge though, I was very keen to give the tendering a go. Keen is your Britishism of the week and it means to show enthusiasm 
enthusiasm about something. I'm always keen to find the cookies on a cruise ship and I do consider myself to be a keen cruiser. The first two days of our cruise were tender ports in Cannes and Portofino. We collected tickets from the bar on deck five and waited for our number to be called so that we could board the tender. It doesn't cost anything to use these tenders but just because everyone wants to use them you have to get a ticket and then go when your number is called. We headed down to the area that is called the destination gateway and from here we were led out onto the magic carpet and then onto the tenders. The tender boats could pull up right alongside and we could just walk straight in. It made the whole process so much easier and faster than usual and it was really cool to see it in this new form. Most of the seats were put away but it didn't look too different from when it was a bar. The magic carpet could be moved up and down when needed and then moved up again for dinner. I never actually saw it move but I have been told that it doesn't take long. You can't ride on it when it moves and I wish you could but I do understand why Celebrity won't let you do that. As we sailed away on the tender boats we had a great view of the ship and the complete magic carpet structure. The design definitely makes the ship look unique and the edge class are instantly recognisable. Celebrity Edge has what is called a sister ship which means a ship of the same design. She's called the Celebrity Apex and a new ship called Ascent is coming soon who will also have a magic carpet. You would think with something like this on one side of the ship that has a full bar, lots of seating, guests, you would assume that the ship is heavier on one side than the other. I also thought that and I thought that they would have had something to counteract the weight on the other side of the ship but it turns out that a counterweight isn't needed at all. Although the magic carpet is heavy, coming in at over 90 tons, it really isn't too heavy compared to the rest of the cruise ship and as a percentage it is tiny. When they designed the ship they just had to take into account the weight of the magic carpet when planning the things that are inside the ship. The weight of the magic carpet is pretty consistent apart from the addition of guests now and then so it really isn't as big a problem as you would think. Estimates of the dead weight tonnage of Celebrity Edge which is defined as a measurement of the total contents of the ship including cargo, fuel, crew, passengers, food and water puts the weight at between 9,000 and 13,000 tons. Even at the lower end of that estimate, the magic carpet is only 1% of that, so it's really not a problem. Celebrity Edge might seem like a big cruise ship, but by cruise ship standards, she's actually not. I've been on much bigger cruise ships, and I recently took a cruise on an Italian mega ship called the Costa Smeralda. To find out what the cruise was like and how much I paid for it, spoiler alert, not very much, check out this video next.